Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two. Behind me is the Disneyland Hotel. It's a little early. My friend and yours, Wayne Targo, is still asleep, but we are gonna, before we wake him up, we're gonna go inside the Disneyland Hotel and I wanna show you some really awesome pieces of Imagineering art because we love Imagineering art. Come on with us, won't you? This is one of my favorite Herb Ryman paintings. Look how big it is. This is like, I would say three feet by about four and a half. Study for Blue Bayou Restaurant. This actually depicts what is inside the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, the restaurant. But signed by Herbie himself. And it's a masterpiece, and I love it. And let's look at it again. Now let's go upstairs. There's a gallery up here that hardly anybody knows about. And uh, it's where the second set of ballrooms are. And there are a ton of more concept art pieces. Come on, let's see what happens. This is Steakhouse 55 and Goofy's Kitchen. We ate there the other night. Now let's take this magical escalator up to the second floor and see if we can't find some awesome pieces of art. Holy smokes, I see some already. This is an entire wall-sized sketch done by Herb Ryman for Fantasyland 1954. This would have been on the interior, the inside of Fantasyland, on the back of the castle. Pencil sketch, you can almost this is blown up so huge that you can see his pencil marks and you can almost think, see what he was thinking. It's a pretty impressive piece of art. Here is a 1954, circa 1954 Main Street rendering. Pretty awesome. Copyright Disneyland Incorporated. That was before they had, uh, before it, Walt made Wed Enterprises, an actual uh, outfit. Here is a rendering for Splash Mountain, done approximately in 1982. Not signed, not sure who did this one. But if I had to guess, I'd say Tony Baxter, but it doesn't look like his work. Flag says Splash here. Michael Eisner had them change the name from Zippity River Run to Splash Mountain because the Splash movie was out. Imagineers weren't into that decision, but that drawing kind of reflects that it came after that. Here is a Ken Anderson study for the facade of Snow White. 
in Fantasyland 1954. Next to it, Ken Anderson, Peter Pan's flight facade study. Done probably at the same time. Let's get a detail. Let's get a close-up detail like this. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's get a detail of the Snow White one too. There's a lot of work here. No, you know who this looks like? Nothing any closer. This looks like an Ivan Earl. Ivan Earl. This is his style, isn't it? You notice the similarity to the backgrounds in Sleeping Beauty. Look at these details. Put the people in it just to give you the scale. Let's see what's next? Okay. Oh wow! Okay. Here we have Tony Baxter, Big Thunder Mountain rendering. Only back then it was called Thunder Mesa. Before it became Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mesa included a plethora of attractions, including the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And I'm gonna show you some of the details here. Wow. This is about where Rancho del Zocalo is now. And that's the Casa de Fritos. Now, Rancho del Zocalo Mexican restaurant. So you can imagine where this would have been, and that's pretty much where Thunder Mountain landed in the Magic Kingdom. Sorry, this is Disneyland, I should mention. I call it the Magic Kingdom, because it is Walt's Magic Kingdom. Beautiful, beautiful. I would love this in my house. Okay, next, here is a 1954 sketch by Harper Goff for the Jungle Cruise. We actually have this one in our house, but it's much smaller. Check out this detail. Harper Goff gave the Jungle Cruise its look. He was an art director who did work on a lot of films for MGM, including the African Queen. So he used his magic at Disney. Here is John Hench, 1964 Space Mountain rendering when it was still called the Spaceport. This drawing was done while they were doing the World's Fair. You can see it has that 1964 look. See, you want a detail? Oh, here is also features the People Mover, Carousel of Progress, the way it actually rendered and came out uh, and had the way it looks at Walt Disney World, and the Space Mountain complex with the tracks going in and out of the tunnels. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, here is Artist Unknown. Artist Unknown, but this is for Matterhorn. This was done approximately in 1957. This shows the monorail and the Skyway for Disney, um, sorry, Disneyland in Anaheim, the border of Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. In some booklets, Matterhorn was listed as a Fantasyland attraction. In some booklets, it was listed as a Tomorrowland attraction. That's because it had two entrances, one on each side. Here is one of our favorite Haunted Mansion drawings done by Colin Campbell. Walt was not into the dilapidated haunted mansion. He wanted it to look pristine on the outside. So this, we went with this look, but we've cleaned up the exterior. So it looks like a, so it looks, doesn't look so lived in. We let the ghosts take care of the inside. Okay. Wow, look at this. Polynesian Gardens. Looks like the Enchanted Tiki Room, Tahitian Terrace, and at the time, Polynesian Garden. Loving the stamp. I love the matting. And check out some of the detail. There's the Tahitia Terrace with the girls. And this was the tree that Walt came in and said, I can't see the show. Raise the trunk up a little higher. That's the way he was. A perfectionist. Here are some Frontierland renderings. I don't know who did the Frontierland drawings. I, we'll look that up. But here we have the entrance to Frontierland. And inside the entrance. We will come inside the entrance. Come with us, wouldn't you see? Now we're entering the gates. And then this is what would be on the inside of the gates. And this is a double, matted double together. Love it. How awesome. Looking over the sidewalk here is where we came in. Go 
with a 1967 Autopia car, which Bob Gurr corrected me once when I met him. He said, no, it was actually a 1968. I think what he was referring to is the fact that they were copying the 1968 Corvette Stingray look, but they debuted it in 67, right here at Disneyland in Anaheim, California. Here is a huge painting Artist unknown, I don't know who did this, but this was the mighty microscope from the adventure through inner space, which is no longer in Tomorrowland. This shows the people mover gliding through the queue area as guests would watch their fellow riders morph down into the size of an atom before being injected into, there's the snowflake. Look at this. This has to be this has to be 50, 60 inches wide and about 28 to 32 inches tall. I mean, this is just a massive piece. And these were designed so when they pitched them to sponsors, the sponsors could come in and get a good idea of what they were going to look like. Okay, here's one for Indiana Jones. I don't know who did this, but look where I am. According to this, I am six miles high. This is the, probably the biggest one we've seen thus far. shows the guests getting on the queue, seeing the construction site, the, the archaeological site, and meanwhile in the background here is a jungle cruise boat to give you the idea of how close the jungle cruise would have been to this. I'm going to step back because it's massive. My arm's getting tired. I'm going to switch hands. Okay. We're almost done. Thanks for hanging in there. Oh, Fantasyland. Now I gotta switch hands again. Skull Rock, Fantasyland, before, I don't see, oh, the Chicken of the Sea Pirate Ship Restaurant. If you were, stand on the, if you were standing on the deck of the pirate ship and looking out onto Fantasyland, this is what you saw. This is the entrance to the Chicken of the Sea. Whoops, I'm shaking because my hand's getting tired. Enter the, go up the gangway. Now we're on the ship looking out, and you can see some of the ship riggings. I'm gonna back up so you see the whole thing. And my favorite, element of Fantasyland that's no longer there. Skull Rock with the waterfalls and look beyond it, Monstro from Storybook Land and there's the ticket booth that still remains. Let's get a close up of this. It's the one, one of the few things at Disneyland that was before my time. I missed it. And I, st I wish I could have been there to be on that Chicken of the Sea restaurant pirate ship. Okay, coming back to 1953 and 4, these are some of the first drawings for Frontierland. Here we have shrimp, fish and chips, smoked fish. This is the uh, Golden Horseshoe, so you'd come into Frontierland from here with the Mark Twain, and if we turned right, looked like they had like a, would have been like a fisherman's wharf type area. Now we have Fulton's, uh, not Fulton's, what do we have now? The Harbor Galley restaurant is in Fowler's Harbor. Fowler's Harbor is what they have. And oh, any visitor to my house will recognize this image. This is Herbert Ryman's drawing of the Skyway Chalet in Fantasyland. This was 1956. Pen and ink looks like this was had watercolor. They would make these photostats so they could change the colors and get different uh, different treatments, different colors. So then Walt would look at them and go, Yeah, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Go with this one. The one in my house has slightly different colors and it's a touch smaller. This is about I'd say 48 inches by about 24 inches. Let's look at this. This looks like it would be the Matterhorn, but it's not. This was Holiday Mountain. It, Matterhorn wasn't conceived of until about 1957, but this hill was at the park. If you imagine to looking up Main Street to the right of the castle was this, uh, they called it Holiday Hill. You can also tell a Herb Ryman, besides from his fabulous artwork, Herbie would write on the top exactly what you were looking at.
Thanks, Herb. And I'm gonna finish up over here with this. This is kind of like when we came in. This is a fantasy land rendering for Merlin's Magic Shop, which is if you walk through the tunnel of the castle, or walk through the castle into fantasy land, and then turned left. This is what you would see. Merlin's Magic Shop wound up there, but this looked slightly different. But this was just to give you a, an idea. This is one of the first drawings. 1954, Disneyland only existed on paper. So to get any kind of an idea of what the park was gonna look like, Herb Ryman was challenged with hanging out with Walt and interpreting his ideas verbally onto the paper. This is a huge painting of Sleeping Beauty Castle. The idea was to uh, give an idea of what the Christmas lighting treatments would be, as noted by the Christmas trees and there are wreaths on the turrets. Here is this. Look at this. I will just shut up and I will leave the drawing to explain. Drawing? I'm just gonna step back so you can compare it to the size of the coffee urn. And one final look at this, I love this. I gotta find out who drew this. Oh, you can see this is the, um, the patchwork herb garden that you'd see in uh, Storybook Land. Tremendous, a lot of detail here because they wanted you to be able to see where the new attraction would fit in with the old attractions. Okay, I'm about done here. People are looking at me funny, so if I look at you and say, okay, I'll see you in a few minutes, that's what happened. Today is my second full day here at Disneyland in Anaheim, California. We're hanging out with my pal and yours, Wayne Toygo, and of course, you know, Stacy. Oh, look at this, I gotta take one last look. Lovely. I love it. And oh, anything with Adventureland and Tiki is my other favorite. Look. Wow. So, oh, and this is such a rarely seen image. I have to take another shot of this. Matterhorn. Haunted Mansion. Just a lot of great artwork. It's like a museum up here. Oh, wow. Is there a goal you set yourself for that as well? Huh? Is there a goal that you set yourself on that? For, um... I don't know if we're gonna find out if he sets a goal for himself or not, but I'm gonna go up here to the third floor and see what I can see, and then I'm gonna let you go. Okay, I'm now on the roof. Yeah, I've gotta go soon. We're now on the roof of the Disneyland Hotel parking lot. Actually, we're on the roof of the convention center. They're getting ready. It's starting to wake up down there. I want you to know that I am really happy that you guys are joining us on this trip to Disneyland, Walt Disney's Disneyland in Anaheim, California. Right now, this is what you call the June gloom. It's gonna be a beautiful day, but right now it's overcast and you might be saying, you better get out of there, Jeff, it's gonna to start to rain. No, I'm not afraid. I just want you to see this and we're gonna leave it like this. Just beyond that pagoda, Paradise Pier Hotel, the Frontier Tower, the Adventureland Tower, sorry, the Adventure Tower. My friend and yours, Wayne Toy, goes in there right now. I'm going to toss a pebble up there to his window to wake him up so we can come down for some coffee. This is the Fantasy Tower. This is where you check in, and it's the main building. And that, my friends, is the path out the hat Pass the hat, go under the hat, and you will find yourself in downtown Disney and points beyond Disney California Adventure, which is where we're going today. Uh, Walt Disney's original Magic Kingdom, Disneyland in Anaheim, California. Lots of good stuff today. Big doings. We're only getting started. 
thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for telling your friends. Thanks for all the comments you leave below that are so encouraging. I know I feel like a lunatic walking around with a camera in my face. People looking at me funny, but I'm doing it for you so you can live vicariously through us here in Disneyland at Anaheim, California. All right? I want to thank you for joining us. Please stay tuned. I love you. I hope you like me.